Hey guys, Tim here. We're going to do part two of the Media Center PC build. We're going to start off with putting in uh, 8 gigs of HyperX uh, Genesis. This is 1600 speed RAM, uh, kit of two. So, you know, you probably don't need 8 gigs, but it's so cheap anymore that I don't know, you know, for 40 bucks you can get 8 gigs, especially for 1600 speed RAM. Um, you know, I just say pony up and, and get it. So you just want to line up the, the notch with the notch on the board. Um, if you've seen my how to build an MATX PC, um, these boards, uh, both sides flip out instead of one side on some Intel boards these days, like the Z77 boards tend to be um, one side flips out, not both sides. But so you just align it in the middle, push it straight down. Make sure both sides click, and you're done. So the next thing we're going to do is install the uh, CD drive. So you have to use a slimline CD drive in this uh, chassis. So here we have a uh, Panasonic UJ240. This is a DVD-RW, um, and it is also a... Uh, Blu-ray uh, reader so this will allow us to you know use this as a DVD player as a Blu-ray player as well um, the proc should be good enough for Blu-ray decoding I'm hoping uh, that I don't have to put in uh, an additional card for Blu-ray decoding but you have these two uh, side brackets that come with the case uh, this is the outside and this is the inside of course it would go like that and they just fit on the case but first you have to remove two screws from the inside of the case they are right here and right here I'm gonna do that off camera put the brackets on the drive off camera and then I'll be back to do the installation okay so we have the panel out and I've got the brackets on so as you can see um, you know because this is a laptop drive or meant to be a laptop drive the the full side bracket goes on the full side and the uh, shorter side bracket goes underneath uh, the shelf here and I actually had to go look this up because I couldn't believe it the first a couple of times I looked at it but you tip up the PC case and then slot in and I apologize if this is hard to see because there's a lot of black on black going on here but you slide in the drive and it actually does say in the instructions to uh, tip up the case on its side and then you actually screw it in I'm gonna do this off camera but you actually screw it in uh, through holes on the bottom here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be right back again okay so there we have it installed you can see it's nice and flush on the front. Door still closes nicely. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is you do want to leave um, test fit it to make sure it's in the right spot so that you don't want to have to adjust these side screws once it's in because you can't get to the ones on this side. So you can adjust it on this side if you need to, but the outside you're not you're gonna have to take the whole thing out to readjust it. So you know make sure you test fit it first and it's where you want it uh, line up the screw holes on the bottom maybe put one in just to double check and then uh, mount it once you're sure it's where you want it so the next thing we're going to do in this video is I'm actually gonna get this out of the way for now and we're gonna mount the hard drives so the fractal case comes with um, you know, all the fractal cases, in my opinion, have the best hard drive mounting hardware. Um, you know, it's heavy gauge steel. I, I, it's really hard to beat, you know, when you compare their hard drive cages um, on this and, you know, the Define R4, any of them, uh, with, you know, any other manufacturer. There's really just no comparison at all when it comes to the hard drive cages themselves. So, I'm going to use, in this build, I have... Two two terabyte 
uh, Western Digital Green Drives. Those are going to hold my photos, my music, um, you know, things that if a drive fails that I can recover easily. Um, you know, so like my Zoom library, um, if I have any downloaded content from like Amazon, that's going to go on these drives. The television data is going to go on a one terabyte uh, 7200 RPM Western Digital. Uh, these are 5400 RPMs, and that's because um, you know if I'm re if you're recording two to four uh, streams at once, um, and you may be like you know X splitting or or using Xbox Extender to go you know stream to another room, you might have you know two or three channels recording. You might be playing back something locally, and you might be streaming something to another TV. So. You know, I like the, the two terabytes, but realistically for TV, you know, you're going to find a terabyte is an awful lot of disk space. And then I have a Vertex 4, a 256 gigabyte drive. This will hold um, all my programs, my movies, any add-ons, Media Center, Windows, all of that. Uh, I highly recommend an SSD, even if it's a 128 for the OS drive, because it makes the experience of using the uh, media center so much snappier. I mean, you, you're just gonna enjoy your experience a lot more. So, the way that these go in, I'm gonna put the two um, greens together, is you want uh, the connections facing uh, the back so that cabling will be easier, and then they face uh, front to front, so the bottoms go toward the two sides. And then you just uh, screw them on with, uh, they actually have special noise dampening screws that come with the case, uh, and the super thick rubber grommets. Uh, not only is this going to dampen noise, which, you know, in a normal computer case is, is annoying, in a media center PC case is obnoxious. Um, you know, you spend a lot of money doing your audio, buying a nice TV, you know, spending money on building, you know, this case, you don't want to hear hard drives grinding, and I will say that's my number one complaint with TiVos, is that no matter what, I'm so such an audiophile that I can always hear the hard drive and the TiVo clicking, um, and it just drives me insane, and I've had, I've been a TiVo customer for over 12 years, so um, all the TiVos I've ever had all have the same problem. So these just will screw in. I'm going to do this off camera, and then I'll come back to show you the SSD installation. Alright, so there we have the drives all installed. I don't know if I mentioned this uh, earlier, but uh, one other benefit of the, the thick rubber grommets and the specialized screws that come with this is it will extend the life um, of your drives. Uh, the better the, the vibration dampening of a drive, the less the, the head bounces around. And for the SSD, it just uses these middle four holes, and then you can see it in the back right there. So next time, we will be uh, installing the hard drives, uh, wiring everything up along with the PSU, and installing the Seton card. And then in part four, we will uh, do an install and show you guys some mods that I like on mine. So until then, this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV, and I'll see you next time.